Okay, so once again, for us to discuss about the Eclipse version control, let us all welcome Sir Brian. Go ahead, Sir. Hello, uh, classmates. Good, uh, good morning, especially to our professor, Sir Marmelo. Okay, uh, this morning, I'll be discussing about the tools we're going to use in development. Uh, I guess we, we are all familiar with Eclipse and version control. So I'll be sharing more insights, I guess, and discussing some uh, tools uh, that we'll be using in for development. But to start with, okay, uh, in our early development days or programming days, we use different types of text editors such as Notepad. It's a very powerful tool, uh, but it's lacking uh, some features, okay? We could develop programming uh, uh, programs or create source code using te simple text editor, uh, different types of uh, low level or high level programming language. For example, uh, Java, C++, you no, know, we, we use uh, only Notepad, pero uh, as we, as we uh, further develop, uh, large-scale development or program, uh, we need tools such as an IDE, okay? So this morning, I'll be introducing uh, Eclipse version controls in SBN. Okay, uh, Eclipse, we all know Eclipse, okay? Uh, it is widely used, IDE or Integrated Development Environment, uh, same with NetBeans, if you're uh, developing a Java or a Python or PHP, we could use Eclipse also, or C++ or C programming languages. We could use Eclipse, okay? Uh, to start with, okay, uh, it started as proprietary replacement for Visual H for Java from IBM. Okay, it was developed by IBM, but was open source in November 2001. Okay, now Eclipse is now controlled by an independent nonprofit organization called the Eclipse Foundation. So it's a freeware. You can download it for, uh, uh, for free, no? Just go to eclipse.org, okay? Uh, simply, Eclipse is an IDE, okay? So... Many IDEs are being used for development. So this Eclipse is one of the uh, widely used IDEs. So if you want to download and use it, okay, you can simply download it, uh, go to eclipse.org. Okay, uh, we all know already Eclipse. I don't want to elaborate on this, how to install, okay? Though I have uh, software, uh, we can show you how to install it, but it, uh, consumes our time. So let's go directly to our main topic. Okay. So why Eclipse? Okay. Uh, Eclipse can be uh, connected with version controls. Ano nga ba yung version control na tinatawag? Okay. Uh, before I start this topic, okay, I just want to share yung mga experience natin dito sa, just to have idea about version controls. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, in not just development now, for example, you're using, uh, for example, uh, in graphics, for example, you're uh, creating or editing image through Photoshop. May mga version styles tayong ginagamit. For example, uh, updated one or edited one or version one. Siyempre, may papamodify or hindi pa tapos. So, for example, uh, collab collaborate that uh, PDF or PNG or JPEG. So, for example, first force or image one that uh, JPEG. Tapos may edit pa tayo. And we, we want still to save your original file. For example, so we, we, we need to rename it as image 2, but maintaining the, the original file, image 1, parang ganun. 
So what is version control? Okay. In Eclipse, version control is uh, being used. No, it is a tool that helps developers, programmers, okay, tackle some everyday problems. For example, tracking changes in the code, help to maintain the code, and allow them to work on same source files without affecting each other's workflow. On this image, na makikita natin sa development, hindi lang naman isa. Okay, for example, there is a front-end developer, there is a back-end developer, there is a database uh, administrator, database programmer, may mga designer, okay, uh, collaborating to one project or one big program, okay. So using version control, this is a tool where these people or these programmers could collaborate or use the files okay in a stored uh space or uh tiyatawag natin repository okay uh, may explain natin kung ano yung repository na tiyatawag okay we collaborate files no? uh we're looking for the ability to share files for two or more people to be able to update the file so we could achieve this file either sending the file around in emails as attachment or having the files on shared file system where many people have access to this one file. So meaning there is a repository or a storage where several programmers could use that specific file. Pero meron tayo tiyatawag na mga other tools. Uh, uh, mabaya, explain natin ito. So, meron tayo other version controls. Okay, may, may, may perforce, force, beanstalk, apart from subversions, AWS code commit. So, sa, sa Eclipse, meron tayo tayong uh, version control system uh, already embedded doon sa, sa, sa ID natin. But, uh, if you are a visual programmer, okay, meron din tayong tools about uh, version control na visual, okay, we could use also version control using uh, direct codes natin. No? Ano ba ang benefits ng version control? Anong purpose nito sa pag-develop ng isang program? Okay. These are the following benefits. For example, uh, number one, backup and restore. For example, uh, I, I grab from the repository, from the source, okay, uh, a file to be edited, okay, uh, to be developed. No? Uh, for example, uh, version one, okay. If I uh, for example, nasira ako yung program or yung code or I want to trash. Just like uh, typing this a typewriter na no, nagkamali ka. Okay? You have to remove again the, the, the paper and start all over again. So, the benefits of version control is if we have backup, we could restore it also. Okay? And the original file is still intact. Okay? Number two is synchronization. Okay? Uh, if there is several developers uh, taking uh, an edit or uh, updating some source code, okay, for example, there are five developers, okay, using the version control, all the updates will be in synchronized, okay, so those are uh, one of the best benefit ng some version control. Okay. Just like there is always undo. Okay. This is a one time, no short term undo. For example, sa Microsoft Word, we 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 undo something. We control Z, 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 no? Uh, undo, 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 undo. Okay. Pero may limit. Okay. If we're using a version control, the original file are, is still intact no? uh, from the time you edit. No? Uh, mamaya, explain ko rin 
paano nangyari itong mga to? Okay. Uh, if there's a short term undo, there is also a long term undo. Okay. If uh, one of the benefits of version control is the track changes. Okay. In every uh, changes you made on your source code, okay, uh, there will be logs na tiyatawag natin. Okay. So, there's also track ownership. For example, there are five developers in the team. Okay. You could take ownership of that specific uh, revisions ng source code mo. Okay. Kasi may mga logs. And who did the program, uh, the source code or editing or updates? No? So we could track changes and we could track ownership also. What do we mean by sandboxing? We could play with the program. Okay, so sandbox, literally, we, uh, we play. Okay, sandboxing in development means uh, you, could monkey, you could monkey around with your source code or want to try or test. Okay, uh, using the version control, you could play around with our uh, source code. And if ever there is a harsh change doon sa dinidevelop mo program, you can still go back and restore. Okay, so there's also a thing called branching and merging. Okay. Ito na yung sa mga team natin, okay, or other uh, collaborators or developers. We could merge yung changes na ginawa ni developer 1 and branch it to developer 5. We could merge develop, uh, yung progress ng develop, uh, developer 2 to developer 4. So, yun yung mga benefits ng version control. Okay, these are some uh, visual representations, no? Na version control. Uh, just, uh, ewan ko lang sa inyo, but uh, for me, I'm a visual learner. Uh, mas lalo natin maintindihan, okay, yung topic if uh, there's a visually uh, representation ng topic natin. Okay, these are some uh, commands. Okay, may, may mga check-in, may mga push, may mga edit commands. Okay. So, so simple check-in commands, okay, this is a simply a scenario. Okay, there are several revisions. Meron tayong revision 1, 2, 3, 4 on the bottom, okay. Sa, sa main trunk natin or repository na tiyatawag or sa main storage natin, okay, you could grab those uh, sources from the repository. Okay, for example, uh, revision 1, we, we, we edit it. Okay. Uh, on revision two, we could add. Okay. This is a simple basic check-ins, no? Uh, very self-explanatory. Revisions one, two, three, four. Okay. So if you want to go back or edit again in revision one, revision one is still intact. Okay. Or vice versa. So, ito yung simple uh, basic check-ins. Uh, the next slide is check-outs and editing naman. Okay. Uh, in reality, you might not keep checking in a file. Okay, you might have check-out or edit and check-in. So, the cycle looks like this one. Okay. Uh, if you want to grab from the repository or from the source, okay, uh from the SBN, okay for example yung revision 3 okay you want to check it out and add additional features so on this uh kung nakikita niyo yung cursor ko yung mouse ko and putting it out to check out okay so ito yung working copy mo so yung revision 4 will be checked in so meaning from the repository, uh, our command is check out, okay? And then if we're done editing, we're going to push or check in. So this is edited already or revision for example to the repository. Okay, next one is 
diff command, okay, the track has historic changes as a file evolves. Diff, diff uh, are the changes you made with, uh, changes you made while editing. So imagine you can peel them off and apply it to a file. No, so you just simply just parang uh, uh, update lang. Okay, from revision one to revision two. You add or edit, you add juice, no? So it is uh, updated to revi uh, revision three and so on and so forth. So that's it, no? Yung basic uh, different changes yung tiyatawag natin. Okay, branching naman, ibig sabihin na ito, let us uh, branches, let us copy code into separate folder so we could play around it separately. Okay, if you want to, for example, the, the concept of version control is you could download or you could, you could have a copy from the repository, the original file. Okay, and if you want to push back, uh, the original file is intact pero hindi download mo na original file is already edited or revised so that's the time you could push uh, uh, push back no or update okay uh, but branching meaning you could have uh, or you could edit or copy codes from separate folders from separate revisions okay na not affecting the original files so, uh, in yung kagandahan nito and it is uh, synchronized doon sa repository natin or the source natin okay just like just like branching may tinatawag din tayo merging okay uh, from this uh, example no yung r4 r5 from the top uh, we 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 want to merge yung r5 and R6 and it is updated dito sa R7 and R8 okay if you want to merge R5 and R6 you notice R8 is uh, updated dito sa main trunk natin okay so that's merging okay uh, considering there are several developers for example there are five in a group or in a team say some project okay uh, sino yung fastest who could push? Kasi hindi ka pwede magsabay ng push. There will be conflict na mangyayari. For example, in one second sabi kayo nag-push, hindi pwedeng may masabay. Dapat may mauna. Parang race siya. Okay? Kasi if you're working on revision 3 parehas, for example, uh, Joe and Sue is working on revision 3 on the same source code it is a race uh, which will be the latest update so revision 3 uh, working uh, is working uh, uh, Joe and Sue is working on revision 3 pero sino sa kanila ang maunang makapag revise okay so on this point Sue okay uh Uh, he, uh, she's the first one no? who could edit, uh, who could push in. Ano, uh, si Joe pala ang nakapag, kapag first validate and check in. No? So, ibig sabihin si Sue cannot uh, revise kasi meron na nauna doon sa nag-revise ng version 3. So, these are just uh, example ng version control. Okay? Uh, ng mga Sample codes, okay. So tagging, okay. Instead of, uh, for example, Java has several versions, okay. Uh, in version control, it's different. Uh, it is uh, simply the systems that you tag or label. Yung mga revisions na ginagawa natin. Okay, so for example, yung release or revisions number one. Okay. This could be tagged as 1.0 or 1.5 or 2.0. Okay, so from that tagging pa lang, 
uh, we could go back uh, uh, to the specific or retrieve or uh, restore or update from uh, different tagings. No? So, mas mapapabilis. Okay. So, that's our, our few uh, uh, commands in version controls. So, let's let's see some concepts about a version controls type. Okay. There are two types. Okay. There are two main types. Okay. Uh, so, version control kasi, this is a tool. Okay. May kitawag tayo visual uh, or BCS. Visual BCS version control. It is like a Apache in PHP. Okay. We must, if we're going to create a program in PHP, we need a server. Okay. So, may tinatawag tayo mga SBN na tinatawag. Okay. Yung SBN na yan, those are the servers just like Apache. Okay. Uh, just like uh, SQL servers. Okay. We need a repository. Okay. So there are two types of version controls. Number one is centralized, and number two is distributed. Okay, ano ba yung ng dalawa? Okay. Centralized version control system are a type of version control system with a single server containing all versions of the code files often stored in repositories. Okay, the number of contributors or programmers working on the code files and the backup files for the main project. So this setup allows every contributor to the code to know what the others are working on, making it easier to communicate and manage the people based on the specific tasks. Uh, the main downside for this setup is, is that since all the code files and the backup files are stored on one centralized server, if something were to happen to the server, then everything will be lost. So subversions and performance examples of CDS. Uh, yung, yung version control natin, there are two types. Decentralized at uh, distributed. Okay. Yung example natin mamaya is centralized version control. Okay. This is the illustration or figure uh, about centralized version control. Kung makikita natin yung illustration. Okay. Meron tayong centralized server or repository. Okay. Uh, yung ginagawa natin mga versions are stored, stored on one storage only. For example, there are different contributors, programmers, developers who will work on it. Napakabilis. Okay. The only problem is if ever there will be a uh, uh, problem on the server, all of these continuous stores will be affected. Okay, that's the problem. For example, you could you could uh, version one could copy, okay, from from the source or central server, okay, and he will be pushing it back, so it will be synchronized in updates of version. Uh, other uh, contributors naman, same thing ginagawa. No? That's the only problem. Okay? If ever the centralized server is down, okay, you cannot work though you have a copy to your uh, dito, to your machine, pero you cannot push it back. Okay? And you don't have any backups at all. Okay? Eh, updated backup pala. Hindi yung ini-edit mo na uh, source code. Okay? So, distributed naman. Okay? Uh, ito yung ginagamit. Uh, example na ito yung Git. Uh, version control, if you heard about Git. Okay? Yung visual S uh, SBN is uh, centralized. Ito distributed naman. Eh. Example na ito yung Git. Okay? Uh, Git, Mercurial, or Bazaar are version control systems with one or more main servers. Meaning, uh, in your machine, you could have servers. Unlike uh, centralized. So distributed naman, just like acting, you have server on your machine. Okay, so that's, that's a 
uh, uh, difference between the two. Okay, let's see the illustration of distributed version control system. Okay, unlike yung centralized, dito makikita natin, we have also uh, a Mac or closed server on your machine. No? And if you want to update and synchronize, you have to push what is being updated doon sa source code na. Okay, so lahat sila, for example, uh, updated uh, programmers will push back uh, doon sa main server will be updated also. Okay, so what is subversion? In subversion, this is a tool or a server, it's like Apache. Okay, these are free source version. Okay, uh, this is use or standard. Uh, in Linux or Unix or BSD. Okay, these are freeware or open source software. Okay, so we have if it's up to you know what what type of version uh, SBN you're going to use. When we say subversion or SBN, okay, pares lang yan. Okay, it's either you have to use command line. Okay, you use graphical just like Tortoise SBN. Okay, Tortoise SBN is the one you're going to install on your machine. Later, I'll be discussing it. Okay, either use the IDE integration just like Eclipse, which has an SBN tool already in, uh, embedded. Okay, pwede rin yung mga browser-based uh, subversion clients. And it's up to you kung ano yung preference mo. Okay, uh, if you're just going to start with uh, version control, better get yung mga graphical and just like Tortoise SBN. It's very easy to uh, install unlike yung command line, yung mga text commands. Very, uh, tawag dito. You have to learn new uh, code command lines again. Uh, okay. So Visual SBN, okay. This is a server na sinasabi ko earlier. Okay, ito yung itsura niya. Okay, a Visual SBN server is from Microsoft. Okay, you can download this also for free. Okay, uh, if you're going to use Visual Server, you have to have Tortoise SBN. Okay, this is a Visual SBN client that must be installed in your machine. Okay, for example, uh, you have five developers, you must have a Tortoise SBN or client installed. Okay, and uh, this uh, Visual SBN server must must be saved on uh, a dedicated server only. Okay, so meron kayo repository or storage. Okay, Visual SBN is a repository server for storing data files shared among team members, just like Google Cloud. No, ito medyo naging complicated lang. Uh, we share files yung using Google Cloud. Diba? Uh, parang naging mas pinaganda lang, mas pina complicated lang yung Visual SBN compared dun sa Google Cloud. Uh, very user-friendly kasi si Google Cloud. No? Just the same idea. Okay? So, Tortoise SBN is a client tool. Okay? Uh, Subversion. Okay? Uh, if you want to use this, hindi lang po siya for development. We use this also for uh, yung mga desktop publishing. Pwede rin sa graphics and multimedia yung Tortoise SBN. Just like uh, yung Visual SBN. Pwede rin po ito. Okay, if you want to download it, okay, you must have uh, you cannot use Tortoise SBN if you don't have a Apache, oh sorry, yung SBN server. Okay? Okay. Uh, yung example natin is visual representation ng SBN. Okay? So, yung, yung, so to, to, to use the Tortoise SBN, you must have first yung visual SBN. Okay? Ito siya. Okay? Uh, client machines. Uh, either you're using different types of operating system, you're using Linux, or Mac, meron din uh, version ng Tortoise uh, uh, SBN. Okay. 
that can be uh, connected dun sa visual server natin. Uh, visual SBN, yung server machine natin or repository. Okay. So, if you want to have this copy, no? if you want to try, sir, uh, classmates, no? I'll be sharing this uh, as per requested. These are the reference. Okay. Uh, if you want to learn this, these are the links. Okay. Uh, just direct message me if you want to have this copy. So, sir, uh, yun lang po. Uh,